Hey Virgos, hope you guys are doing really good. Welcome to your weekly love reading, November 12th to the 18th. Uh, before I get into my normal little intro, I just want to let you guys know during the pre-shuffle, this happened twice, okay? <laughs> on both occasions, the same three cards, not, on two occasions, as I was pre-shuffling, because I pre-shuffle a lot, the same three cards came out. The Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, so that's Capricorn, could also be Virgo, right? Um, Taurus or any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, with the Ten of Swords in Reverse, with the lovers. So someone's really done, guys. I know that's hard to hear, but someone's really done. It came out twice. <laughs> I never, I've never, i never seen that happen. The same three cards together, nonetheless, as a clump, came out twice. So anyway, so going into my little mini intro, it's about a minute. So if you want to fast forward, just go to the two minute mark. <clears throat> These are very general messages for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind these messages will not resonate with everybody, okay? They're very general. So whatever messages come through are messages that have to come through for people who need to hear them. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Don't try to make it fit, all right? And sometimes I get multiple messages in a reading, so please keep that in mind as well. We're working with energy, guys, so these messages can pertain to you or your partner or someone in your immediate environment. If it's vice versa and it's your story, it's your story. Just as what it is. Um, also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. Very rarely is it. So, like, 1% of the time it's gender specific. If it is, I let you know. <clears throat> okay, with that being said, and a little sip of water. <laughs> mm. oh, that was so good. Let's get started on your reading, guys. Any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Any messages from my Virgos in love, November 12th to 18th? Also keep in mind, guys, um, oh, did I just say the 15th? Oh, that's funny, because I was about to talk about Venus. Venus goes direct on the 15th. I believe it's 15th. I could be wrong. Double check that. Mercury goes retro right after. Please keep that in mind. So midweek, you're going to feel a sense of relief, and then right away, Mercury's going to like not fuck things up. Mercury's not as strong as these other planets are when they shift. Cause it's such a small planet and it happens so frequently um but it, it'll throw a wrench in some stuff it'll throw a wrench in some stuff any messages for my virgos in love november 12th to the 18th any messages for my virgos in love november 12th to the 18th any messages for my virgos in love november 12th to the 18th one more shuffle guys any messages for my virgos in love november 12th to the 18th okay that feels really good Let's see what's going on, Virgos. Let's see if those cards come out again. I could not believe I saw that twice. I was like, okay, message received. <laughs> you know? And I know it's a sad thing, guys. I don't mean to laugh, but sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from crying, okay? And that's a real thing. Laughter really is the best medicine. Um, also, it's to protect my own energy. And I like people have commented on me laughing so much. And honestly, like, I laugh a lot. Get over it. Like, joy upsets you. I, like, I think that's really strange. Um, <laughs> um, but also it's to protect my energy from all the negative energy that I sense when I do readings, okay? <clears throat> Alright, any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Alright, okay, got one so far. Any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Okay, ugh. Got the lovers in reverse, too. All right, very interesting. Oh, why do I feel like this is the cross watchers energy? Um, I'll be straight up with you, Virgos. I'm feeling like this is the cross watcher, but I'm just going to roll with it, okay? Overall energy, the lovers in reverse. It's self-explanatory, guys. The energy that's surrounding this week for you or cross-watchers, again, I'm feeling this is mostly for the cross-watchers. Virgo might be just doing their thing and hiding. Um, <clears throat> this is just disconnection from your partner, right? Heartbreak, breakup, problems in love. So we have uh, six cards that came out. The first card that came out, seven of cups in reverse. Confusion. Total confusion. I'm feeling so much sadness, guys, even though I don't see sad sad cards here. It's like from this card alone, it's like just sad from how confused they are about what happened. 
I'm so sorry, guys. I got a call, so now I have to stitch these videos together. I, like, I, if anyone can tell me how to, like, fix that problem on my phone so that it, the video doesn't just stop recording when I get a call, please let me know or how I can stop getting calls while I record. Please, please put it out in the comments. Because it, it literally adds, like, two hours to, to upload this. Because I have to upload it to my computer, stitch it, and then convert it to a different file, and then upload it to YouTube as opposed to just uploading it directly from my phone. And it's very frustrating. Sorry, bringing it back. I'm really feeling like this. all this energy I'm looking at is the cross watcher, not even Virgo. And the cross watcher, your partner, Virgos, and again, it could be vice versa, but I'm really feeling like it's the Virgo's partner is so confused and just doesn't know what happened, doesn't know how to fix things, and it's making them really sad. So we have the five cards here. We'll go one by one. I'll tell you what I think is going on. So I have the magician card. Uh, this is this is typically Gemini. <coughs> <clears throat> explicitly but for me as a reader it's Scorpio for me as a reader and then we have three of wands page of wands the chariot in verse cancer cancer card and then you have the star card the aqua card okay <sighs> yeah Virgo your, your partner's really confused they're really heartbroken they're really sad and they're trying to they're trying to manifest here they're trying okay oh I see what they're trying to do okay let me put these three cards up so it makes more sense <clears throat> they're trying to manifest something to come in and I honestly feel like they're trying to ma manifest you coming back to them okay that's kind of how it feels they're they're praying they're talking to their guides and it's funny because like the the more subscribers I get the more I pick up on sensing people doing the craft or engaging in the craft a couple y'all are dealing with people who are dealing the craft and I, I definitely feel like some of them are trying to make something happen to bring you back to them and that's what they're expecting they're expecting you to come back and be joyful about it and it's going to be good news and and there's going to be you know news of some kind of passionate something that you two can have together that's what they're trying to manifest okay but this chariot in reverse here tells me that they're not really being triumphant or someone doesn't want to someone doesn't want to deal someone doesn't want to move forward so let's clarify the chariot that's also my non-committal card so one of you is really wanting this, the other one, not so much, for sure. Clarify the chariot <clears throat> in reverse. Sorry, guys, I know that's heartbreaking in here. But I'm always going to tell you the truth of what I'm picking up, even if it's really unpleasant. Clarify the chariot in reverse. Clarify the chariot in reverse. Like, it seems like someone's waiting, waiting, waiting. And honestly, I, like, I just want to say it's... Don't waste your time. I'm sorry. Clarify the chariot in reverse. There's so many people out there to love, guys. So many people. Um, and sometimes you gotta go through a lot of people to find that person, you know? Clarify the chariot in reverse. I just, I feel really bad for whoever's feeling this. Clarify the chariot in reverse. <clears throat> Yeah, I think Virgo's in hermit mode, doing their Virgo thing, hiding. I think that's why their energy's not really even here. Clarify the chariot. I think maybe that's why those cards came out. It was like, my guides knew. <laughs> they're not here. They're hiding. <laughs> but here, here's what's going on with them. They're done. Clarify the chariot. <clears throat> Clarify the chariot in reverse. Let's see what we get here. Clarify the chariot in reverse. For my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th. Clarify the chariot in reverse. Clarify the chariot in reverse. Ooh, okay. Clarify the chariot in reverse. Okay, what do we have here? All right, we have five cards that came out. Overall energy. The magician in reverse, guys. So, like I said, we already have the magician trying really hard to manifest... Um, their Virgo trying to manifest this reconnection here, but over the chariot, which is also the failure card, right? Like chariots also like I'm moving forward and being triumphant, right? Not moving forward, not being triumphant. I'm failing the magician in reverse. I'm failing to manifest this. I'm failing to move forward. I'm failing to make this happen. I'm failing to be triumphant. Why am I failing? So we have these five cards here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if my energy's changed. I just, I feel so sorry for this person. We have two of pentacles with ace of pentacles in reverse. Six of swords upright. Oh, sorry. I don't know why that didn't that went out of focus so bad. Um, and then we have the knight of cups in reverse. Oh, no, sorry. Not the knight. Oh, the king. I'm sorry. King of cups in reverse with the king of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> oh, suddenly I feel super sick. I don't know why. Um, 
Okay, so whoever is really bummed about this Virgo, if you guys are in a depressive kind of a state, please eat something. I'm almost feeling like it's like I just feel really nauseous and lightheaded, almost like I haven't eaten in a, in a few days. Okay, so if you guys are experiencing that, please, please, please eat something. Even if it's just an apple, please eat something. Okay. So, feeling like a failure. Because you were trying to trying to juggle something. You were trying to find the balance. Because you were feeling out of balance, that's why. Because you were feeling so confused and kaflooped. So you are trying to find the balance within yourself. And it seems like you found some kind of balance for some, for most of my cross watchers. You kind of did find that, but some of them haven't. Some of them are, are very much still out of control and like laying up in bed and being very depressed. Okay. You have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and it's because you feel like you missed out on an opportunity. And some of you guys did, but honestly, if it hasn't come together, then it probably wasn't something that um, was long lasting and so you need to look for your next new opportunity even though you feel like you missed out on this one okay why because you're trying to move into common waters you are this is also planning i feel like you guys are trying to plan something um some of you haven't given up you know some of you feel like a failure and you're kind of trying to accept that even though you're still trying to wait for them and still trying to manifest them um so some of you guys are still doing some planning here just i'm telling you guys for most of you, this is a very, I mean, that's how I'm reading the energy. This is just a waste of time, okay? Don't do this to yourself. Don't torture yourself like this, okay, cross watchers? Move on. Keep moving on. Keep moving on. Now, these two kings are very interesting. These are the two committed kings. But, and usually this is like when I get kings like this in a situation, I feel like it's the same person, but these are two different people. Um... It's like one, the king of pentacles, like a family man, ready to commit, ready to settle down. The king of cups in reverse is someone who's very emotionally closed off. They don't really want, they're not even really present. And like, they're two different en energies. But what I mean by not being present, it's like, they're not around. They're not talking to you. They're not around. They're not talking to you. They're not showing you love. These are two different people. And I'm feeling like this is more the Virgo, even though this is the earth card. I know that sounds weird, but that's just how I'm sensing it. Okay. Whoever is doing the manifesting, that's this person's energy. So maybe it is the Virgo and your partner's, you know, MIA. But I'm reading the, all of this as if this is the cross watcher, this is the partner who's trying to manifest their Virgo who doesn't really want anything to do with the situation anymore. I'm sorry. I know that really hurts. You know, we have the star card here. There's some major healing going on. And that's totally fine. It's needed. Because... This person's really confused. This person's really hurt. This person's like pining. Keep getting pining, like pining after you, Virgo. Pining, pining, pining. And they need to do some healing. And I think they recognize that. Because they think that you're their wish come true. And maybe on some level you are. But that doesn't mean that, you know, the, they can't find someone else to fulfill their wish with. And be even happier. You know what I'm saying? If a relationship doesn't come together in this kind of a way, like where it's like someone's trying so hard and pining this hard... It's a relationship that probably would not lead to happiness. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, oh, please eat something, guys. <laughs> whoever, again, whoever is in that depressive state and hasn't eaten in a while, please eat something. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Um, trying to see if I need to clarify anything. I, I just hate to say it, guys. I mean, the Virgo feels very gone. Feels very, very gone. Very detached from the situation. This is all cross-watcher energy. Totally. All cross-watcher energy. Uh, actually, let's get some advice from the Psychic Tarot deck. I usually only pull this out in, like, major dire emergency situations, but this is feeling like it calls for it. Because you don't need to hear me repeat all of this over and over. Oh, they're, they're done. They're done. They're done. Um... I'm really sorry for anyone who's doing this. This is really awful. And this is not... I don't think this is going to be major collective. If it if it is, I'd be surprised. Ugh. Any messages or advice for my Virgos in love or the Cross Watchers, November 12th to the 18th? Any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Any messages from my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th. Bear with me, it's kind of a big deck. So I'm very careful in how I shuffle it. <clears throat> 
any messages from my Virgos and live. Honestly, guys, for those who are hurting, just watch comedy. Just watch stand up. Don't let yourself watch anything sad. Don't listen to sad music. Just watch comedy. Let yourself laugh. Even if you have to go out to a comedy club, go out. Try to make sure that you are getting laughs in every single day because it will aid your healing process. It will. That's way too many cards. Any messages from my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Oh, shit. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Hold on. Let me get my hand in the right position because I have tiny hands. <laughs> All right, there we go. I got it. Any messages for my to my Virgos in love? Don't know why I said Taurus. For my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th. Any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Any messages for my Virgos in love, November 12th to the 18th? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad we got a chakra card out here for some advice. Overall energy, we have the choose wisely card, okay? Like I said, guys, you got to choose your time wisely and how you're investing your time in pining after this person. All right, just please, please, please be mindful of that. This is also indicative of the Seven of Cups which you already have, okay, but it's in reverse. So to me, it's like, yeah, you're very confused and you need to be very careful in how you choose to approach this situation further, okay? And to me, honestly, you gotta remove yourself from this this person's energy. You have to, ex you gotta maybe realize that this is, you know, it's it's run its course and that's okay. That's okay. It's time to focus on you. It's time to do your own thing and then you're gonna find a great opportunity elsewhere. I know that sucks to hear, guys. I just got to be honest with you. Now, we got the emotional withdrawal card. There's also indicative of Eight of Cups. You got to move on, guys. You got to move on. I also have the Throat Chakra card, um, number five. <laughs> Don't know why that was so hard to say. It's right there. <laughs> so work on your throat chakra. And I think that's really great because, and I would actually say and your heart chakra, work on both. Because that's going to allow you to speak your truth, even if you're just speaking it to yourself. Even if you're never going to talk to this person again, you have to be able to tell yourself the truth, see the truth, feel the truth, work on your throat chakras, wear the color blue, light blue candles, um, even just wearing a turquoise, turquoise crystals, using turquoise crystals, that really helps too. Um, my throat chakra crystal is, oh shoot, where did it go? Oh, here it is. It's like, shit, where'd happen to it? I really like this one, actually. So <clears throat> mine is a amethyst with t with a turquoise. Um, and I like it because it, it not only focuses on the throat chakra, but because it has the amethyst element, it's also for healing and protection as well. <clears throat> and um, to emphasize that, like, that love, too, that can come through um, when speaking and communicating. All right, so I'm not saying you have to get something like that. I'm just saying if you want to use crystal or crystal work, turquoise is great. Blue anything. Blue. All right, it's going to make you feel a lot better. So I know that was rough, guys, but it's time. It's time to move on. It's time to let go. And I think that's one of my label lists. It's time to let go. So I know that was rough, guys. Please take it easy. Please focus on you. Please heal. Um, you know, life goes on. Opportunities come up. You guys are going to be okay. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later, okay?